I'm Kyle Bratcher. I'm the district fish biologist in the Wallawa district. I work for uh, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. Uh, we're here in the Wanaha Toucanon Wilderness uh, doing spring Chinook spawning surveys. So we're in here looking for reds um, specifically, which is a nest that uh, Chinook dig in the gravel. Um, they're pretty apparent out here. They dig, they're really big. They're cleaned off. You can see them real well. So we're in here counting those because it's an indicator of how many spring Chinook are in the system. Um, in here, it's particularly a challenge because it's difficult to get to. Uh, it takes multi-day trips. Uh, since last year, we've been using inflatable kayaks to kayak the river from a certain point down because uh, the trail's gotten so bad in here that uh, we had to come up with different methods to get down. It seems to be working pretty well for us. So the Wanaha Toucanon Wilderness, so the Wanaha River specifically, the population of Spring Chinook here is a wild population. It's never been supplemented, so these fish swim about 600 miles from the Pacific Ocean to get here. Uh, those fish come in here, um, and without that hatchery supplementation, okay. this population is a particularly good indicator um, for what's going on kind of region-wide, where other systems where we have hatchery fish, uh, it's a little harder to measure what's going on. So we kind of use this as the kind of um, the control, if you will, um, to see how, how populations are fluctuating around. This is something we do annually. We come out two different times, and it's one of the best methods we have for monitoring the status of Chinook in this system. Um, we do it with the red counts. We can get a good estimate of how many fish are in this system, and it's something that we've been doing for quite a while. I think it's a really good example of the co-production of um, actionable science for managers um, because we, the Nez Perce tribe and ODFNW co-manage these populations. In northeastern Oregon in general, we've got surveys going back to the 50s. We've got decades of data um, and having that long-term data is important because it's, we have our pulse on what the population is doing. And more recently, with, uh, in the 90s when um, spring, summer Chinook were listed, um, this is important information for monitoring recovery of spring summer Chinook. Spring Chinook in the Snake River Basin are uh, listed on the endangered species um, list as threatened. And so we're not actually allowed to harvest any wild spring Chinook within this Snake River Basin. But in angling, we assume that when you catch and release a wild fish, that there's some level of impact. So those, that some of those fish are gonna die. And through all our permitting processes with the federal government and state agencies, we're allowed to, to have a certain level of mortality on those fish, and it, but it must be, remain very low. And so having healthy populations of wild fish allows us to have sport fisheries for hatchery fish. So as long as we have reasonably healthy wild fish uh, production, we can have fisheries on hatchery fish. But if that production gets so low that we can't afford to have any mortality through angling on wild fish, then we can't have those hatchery um, sport fisheries anymore. So it's really important to have these healthy um, wild populations and naturally reproducing populations in places like the Wanaha so we can have those fisheries. So the biggest challenge for a population uh, like the Spring Chinook in the Wanaha is outside the basin. So it's gonna be dams, it's gonna be main stem Columbia, hot water issues, and poor ocean conditions. These fish only spend about 25% of their life here, and this habitat is really pristine. It's never been modified. And so most of the challenges for these fish are gonna occur outside of the Wanaha River.